So, <laughs> we're in a completely different location. Um, I built this kind of like modern Mediterranean inspired house. Um, I don't know if it looks that good, I'll be honest. The windows are kind of throwing me off. But we've moved location. I've split the rat, the rat gang. I've split the rat. <laughs> I've split the rat gang. Oliver just received a promotion. Um, but yeah, I've split the rat gang up into two groups. We have the gaming group. And we have um, Addy and Cyrus, which will be sort of like exploring very specific game packs. Um, this is just kind of going to be like my general household for the moment. Because all of these sims have something in common. So they're either tech related, they enjoy video games, or they're pursuing like a crime career. Um, the inside of the house is looking kind of bare at the moment because I ran out of money. It was meant to be a starter home, but I used kind of expensive, um, pieces. Like, these counters were not cheap, uh, but we had them unlocked from Michael's cooking career. Um, and I mean, we've got everything essential that we need. The upstairs is really barren at the moment, but I'm working on sort of getting each of their rooms kind of, like, personalised. I love this back room here, um, because it's got, like, the big windows overlooking the back garden. Even though there's nothing in the back garden just yet, <laughs> I still think it's kind of cool. Um, so what I want to do is I want to focus on getting these guys further in their career, uh, which we can do by looking at their career tab. Jake is going to start on Orion. Starts working three hours. Holy shit, Ryan starts really early. Um, but we need to improve our logic skill, which I think is, is that the chessboard? It might be the chessboard. Um, but we can get a better chance of getting a promotion if we upgrade that skill. And I want to do the same with everyone, so we're going to have to buy a bar. <laughs> we're going to have to buy a bar for Michael. Of course we are. Uh, Jake is already there. He's already there. Um, I've been specifically practicing the programming skills with Jake. You can stop now because you're... <laughs> you're... Oh my god, what is going on here? He dislikes programming. No, you can't dislike programming. You need it for, for your promotion. He's literally been programming for hours. <laughs> just trying to get that leveled up so that he can get a promotion. He's just got another promotion as well. Um... Have Jake use the microscope, read a book, or play chess. Uh, what can Oliver do? I know Oliver needed to improve his mischief skill. That's it. So we need to get his mischief skill leveled up to level 3 now. See, as soon as I leveled up his mischief skill, um, he got a promotion. Like, instantly. Uh, but I don't want to be mischievous to these guys because I have to live with them. So, I usually grab random people off the street and just start fucking with them. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and start a preposterous rumour. We'll stop him mid-run. Hello! But anywho, let me stack up some of these interactions real quick, um, and I will talk about what the hell is going on. We'll give him some fake bad news. Um, we'll scare him, we'll, uh, we'll pickpocket him. Definitely. Okay. So, I moved us to Oasis Springs because I really like this style of house. I don't have the patio pack, otherwise I probably would have ended up using it. Um, I might get it eventually though, because I want to turn this lot into a large Mediterranean style mansion. Um... And I want it to be Ryan's, so we're kind of like, we're kind of, um, we're, we're going to evolve it, basically. And make it much bigger, much larger, and have it spread all the way back as far as possible. Because there's a lot of space back here to use for rooms and stuff, and I want this to just be Ryan's large, like, wealthy house. Because when you become a mob boss, or like a gang boss, or whatever it is, or a super villain or whatever, um... As far as I'm aware, you you can kind of have, like, a little bit more control. Um, 
And I think you maybe work less and still get money. I don't really know too much about the careers, to be entirely honest. Um, but I would really, really like to have, like, a big Mediterranean-inspired um, kind of mansion, villa kind of thing with, like, an office and multiple bedrooms and, like, huge bathrooms with walk-in showers and stuff. And I think this is the perfect start for it. Even if we have to build the entire house, co like, completely from scratch, I'm fine with doing that, but we need to save up the money to do so. Um, so this is what we're starting with. I want, um, also Oliver to move out at some point and start his own kind of, like, crime lord mansion type thing in another world, um, not in Oasis Springs. So we'll see how that goes, but I think it makes sense for those two to kind of be, like, rooming together since they're doing the same thing. Um, and then Michael and Jake both really enjoy video games, um, and so do Oliver and Ryan, so it made sense to kind of group those sims up, um, and boom, now they're living together. Where has he gone? Why is, why is he sleeping on a bench? I need you to up your mischief skill. Can you, like... Oh, hello. One minute, there's somebody here. You! I need to go pee, but I also want to upset you somehow. A proper celebrity. Ask to take picture of Dirk. I don't know if I should be doing that. Who's this? Hello! Um, rude introduction. Don't go anywhere, come back. We also have like a little fishing area down here, which I don't really want to do too much fishing because it's a little bit like you just kind of stand there and that's it. <laughs> um, but I think it's kind of interesting that there's fish down there. It's kind of cool. Hello. Oh, this is not going to go well. He's still in his goddamn work clothes. Trick with hand buzzer. Here we go. Can we pickpocket him as well? Let's see if we can get our mischief skill to level 3. Because Oliver really, like... Oh, God. <laughs> Oliver really isn't making that much money at the moment. So we... Oh, God. They are, like, not close at all. There we go. Leveled up. Brilliant. We got the pickpocket sorted out as well. Uh, So I need to do mischief interactions. Apparently I'm 75% done. We've just got to be really mischievous. Tell an unbelievable story. And then just scare the hell out of them. Invite to a fake party. Why not? Can we upset this kid? Can we be mischievous to a kid and, like, steal his phone or something? Let's see what happens. But, yeah, I would love a situation where... Um... Oh, work, uh, Jake starts working an hour. Okay. Jake might get another promotion pretty soon if we keep the programming stuff up. I don't quite know. Ah, mischief interactions are done. Um, but I would love a situation where, like, each sim has an area that they can kind of flourish in. So, um, has been fined in accordance with the Water Conservation Action Plan. Too much water has consumed this week. Oh my god. We need to vote for another thing. How do we vote? Hold up. Oliver, go over to the mail. Stop talking to people. Come to the mailbox. Uh, Voting is currently closed. Shit. Am I going to have to get like a do collector? To try and re... Like, try and stop the amount of water being... Oh, just fucking take the fines. This is ridiculous. Also, we have a duffel bag of cash, which I would absolutely love to put down. <laughs> so we're going to do that. We're going to put that in Oliver's room. Um, I want to do things like host parties and stuff, which I feel like I can't really do at the moment with the size of the house. Um, but we can, like... I don't know. Maybe we can Maybe we can do something. We've got a stack of dirty dishes. Lovely. Oh, this is a, a much smaller bag of cash than I was expecting. Uh, let's just put it in the corner. There we go. Can we get more of these? And if so, how much do they cost? 
Because I would love, like, just loads of little duffel bags of money. How much is that? 155. That's not too bad. I reckon further down the line we can probably decorate um, a house with quite a few of those. Just sort of laying around. <laughs> Which I feel like would be quite funny, to be fair. Um, okay. What else have we got to do? Level 2 in logic. We really need to get Michael a bar, but I don't really feel like we have the money for a bar at the moment. Like, bars are pretty expensive. Is Jake going to work? He is. Okay, good. He's really tired, though. He should be fine. Who is not at work? Michael's not at work. Why? He doesn't start for another three days. We have loads that we could do with Michael. I think we should try and get Michael um, a cooking book that we can maybe improve his skill with. Can we get this off the screen, please? Because I, <laughs> well, I don't need to see it. Uh, get all of those away. Maybe we could order something on his phone. Let's have a look. Can we do that? Call him fake sick to work. What, we, what if we were to sit in on a skill class for 250? Well, I think we could do that. Preferably with some clothes on. But I reckon we could do that. I also want to give everybody bedrooms that are big enough to, like, actually have shit in. Um... Oh, maybe we could do mixology. Since that's what he needs. Let's do mixology. Is he going now? Oh, yeah, he's he's going straight over there now. Oh, do you not want to pee first? No? Okay. He's just going for it. Good luck. I wonder how long he's going to be there for. What is Oliver doing? Oh, God. I was going to say, if he's napping again, I'm going to kick off. See, none of these guys really have, like, any, um, like, homegrown skills that they can mess around with. They don't really have, like, um, not homegrown skills, but, like, self-employed related skills, like, being an artist or anything like that. They can't really, sort of, like, make money while everybody else is at work, or while they're not at work, and we're not really doing anything. That's, like, how I used to play the game, was just, I would have ev all of the sims working, that I weren't playing as, and then my main sim would just be an artist and just make loads and loads of paintings. <laughs> it would be pretty ridiculous. Just like this goddamn outfit is. Good grief. Okay, I think he wants to go to bed. That didn't improve my hygiene, like, at all. Uh, what is this? Pickpocket successfully. Minty freshness. Okay, go to bed. We should be able to... There we go, we're... Zoom him by while he gets some rest. Michael Norton discovered in mixology class that even if the teacher is as dry as an overcooked chicken, there's still something to learn. Well done, Michael. Did you improve in um, mixology at all? Can we have a look? Is it... Uh, I guess it'll be this. Oh, okay. He's gained one level in mixology. Can you go again? Can we just, is that like a pay to win? <laughs> we can just pay to sit in on a skills class. Do you want to go again? How long were it? It was like two and a half hours. That's not bad. And you peed while you were there. Go. Go again. He's off again. <laughs> <laughs> we're just going to upgrade him that way, I guess. Um... But yeah, so what I want to do is, like, I want to have, like, this cool courtyard area. It'll be really, really cool once it's done. Ryan only brought back 152. I thought Ryan was making bank. Hmm. Okay, we've improved in mixology. For Michael. Why is your performance only average? He works in five hours. He comes back at seven. 47 per hour. That's insane. Performance is only good, though. Michael's performance is apparently excellent. Oh, okay. So, performing these tasks improves... Um, oh, no. These are promotion tasks. Okay. I guess if you just keep your performance at excellent... 
it's got a better chance of improving. I don't know. I don't know if that's just like... Um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm on about. <laughs> I'm just going on about random shit at this point. Let's go get some leftovers, because he's bloody starving. Um, do we have any leftovers? We apparently don't have leftovers. Just have a nice, quick meal. No? Ma you know what? Have lunch, just generally. We don't have a fire alarm, which is kind of terrifying, actually. We should probably uh, get a fire alarm real quick. <laughs> I think I do want to make him a a bar out back. I think having a bar on like the patio where the sheltered area is would be really cool. Um, I really want to give him like a jacuzzi out there as well. I think that could be really cool. God, my game's lagging so bad. Uh, okay. So what I'm going to be doing is... Sort of like, as we go along, I'm going to be jumping between households. So we might spend like an episode or two over here, and then like go over to Addy and Cyrus and spend like an episode or two over there. Um, and then we might go to like somebody who's completely new that we haven't met yet and spend like a little bit of time over there and then like maybe jump back over here. And it'll just kind of go in like random rotation of the Sims that I really want to play with at the moment. Um, what I also want to do is we need to improve logic skill so let's check the activities and hobbies real quick uh well i say real quick you know as quick as it will let me go uh i'm guessing it's knowledge yes okay so let's buy a chess board and we'll go put it out back for now this will be a nice little placeholder um i guess we'll put it here and then I would also like to buy, like, a treadmill, maybe? That's really expensive, but people are about to come back from work and I've just paid bills, so we should be okay. <laughs> I'm not playing The Sims how I play it in, uh, how I play it, how I act in real life. <laughs> it's like, well, I paid the bills last week, so I can spend this week's money, because that's how it works. Uh, the, the issue we've now got is, we've got no chairs. We've got no bloody chairs. Oh god, can I... How... Ugh. Are there any cheap chairs? Like, really, really cheap chairs? We might have to just keep one there for now. No. There, <laughs> there are zero chairs that I can afford for $20. Apparently. Which is ridiculous. It's fine. Maybe we can just get somebody to practice chess. Who was it that needed it? Was it Ryan? Ryan's already been to work, so get your ass out here. Can you practice this on your own? We can make you focused. Why don't you just play? You could play against yourself. Maybe. Yeah, okay, brilliant. And that should improve... Yes, we've acquired the logic skill. Brilliant. Uh, scientific equipment, winning games is also increased, and new interactions will become available on the microscope and observatory. I would kind of wanted to buy an observatory, uh, telescope kind of thing, but I weren't too sure about it. Cyrus is here! Hello, Cyrus! Everyone keeps coming to the back door. Why? Can somebody invite Cyrus in, please? Michael. Come to the back door and invite Cy in. We're going to have to make like a little pathway that comes around the side of the house because everyone comes around the side. <laughs> I don't get why. We all leave through the front for work and stuff. Oh, he's giving us something. Michael, hurry up. Cyrus has brought us things. Cyrus is also currently homeless because I haven't moved him and Addy into a plot. Um, they don't have a lot of money, and I'm trying to figure out how to have those two coexist, since Cyrus is, like, the only one working there. What are we receiving? Is it a housewarming gift? Uh, thank you, I think. Oh, very nice! Did we just get a type of fish? Because I really hope that Cyrus didn't just give us a fish. Does it say up here? We got a leaf. 
What? <laughs> Cyrus just came over to give us a leaf. So, <laughs> Ryan is currently really upset. <laughs> she came back from work and there is no water. It is like being shut off for 12 hours. So, I don't know what Ryan's going to do. Um, apart from just sort of sit <laughs> and dwell in her own filth. <laughs> because she's she's been to work and everything already. There's nothing f else for her to do. Everyone else kind of like... I think at least Oliver maybe showered before. I don't know. Oh, Michael stinks. Yeah, Oliver's okay. And he, he's probably going to go to work like before it comes back on anyway. Um... <laughs> <laughs> but I just kind of find that <laughs> a little bit hilarious that we've got like a a water saving situation and the goddamn water has been shut off entirely. Can we clean this up, please? Why are you just like picking these up and not doing anything with them? We have a sink. We have a bin. Put them away. Like sort of shit. Also, Michael is always fucking naked. <laughs> He's never got clothes on. Okay, Ollie's gonna go to work. Jake just got back. Brought back 423. So, like, we're probably making around 600, 700 a day. Uh, come to bed over here. Why are you going across the road? I would say, like, maybe 800 a day from everybody's sims. So, we've got, like, an okay income. What is wrong with you coming to the bin here? Can you just throw that away? Oh, God, I'm, I'm on the wrong sim. Hold up. Michael. What the fuck is this? Throw it away. Like, to be fair, we had no money earlier in this episode, so... And now we actually have money. He literally just walked outside with it and put it on the floor to speak to Ryan. That's so weird. Where is he taking it now? Is he... Oh. Okay, he's going to put it in, the, in that little bin there. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I can live with that one. <laughs> Good grief. What is this? A wild bush. Oh, it's sage. Um, What if we uprooted the plant and we, we planted it back at home? That's kind of cool. Come and grab this plant. Can I do it with multiple plants or... Kind of just that. It looks like just that. I know that there's like areas in the game that you can discover as well. I don't want to hang out with you, Addy. I'm sorry, not until you've been situated in a more appropriate house. I like these little footsteps. They're pretty cool. They're very vaguely shaped, but they're cool looking. <laughs> okay, Ollie, when do you have work? You're meant to be going now. Go to work. I can't click on the go to work thing. There, go. He's off. I was going to say Cyrus should be back soon. Cyrus no longer lives with us. <laughs> I completely forgot. Can we please get some goddamn water back in this place? This is ridiculous. Uh, Ryan, come work out. You might... Oh, you can't. You're too uncomfortable. There's like really nothing that I can do to make these sims happier just yet. Until I can use the bloody water. It'll resume on Wednesday at 9pm. You've only got like 20 minutes. It's fine. Go lay down for 20 minutes. And then we can jump straight in the shower. Boom. Water's back on. Oh, apparently it's not. It's taken a moment. There we go. Water shut off. Day's done. Who is this? I swear, just like random people are turning up. This person's old. Seth Vega. God, I know Addy was speaking to a lot of older men. I don't know whether he's looking for her. Oh, Ryan's ill. Oh, that's not good. Hold up. Ryan's got, like, some kind of rash. Are you okay? Hold up. How do we... Can we maybe order some medicine? Um... Call in sick to work. By a vet clinic. Browse Plopsy. Is Plopsy... Okay. <laughs> Plopsy is the bloody... 
Oh, we can get a little octopus. Oh my god, we can buy cloves off of here. Plopsy is like the little Etsy version for The Sims. What is this? Who has left something like purple and smoky coming out of the loo? What is that? That is awful. <laughs> and who's left it there? Oh my god. I don't know what is going on in this house anymore. We could do with a second shower, I think. I don't know. Maybe that's a little bit overkill. We don't have, like, six people. I completely changed my mind as soon as I mentioned it. Nope, you're gonna have to wait. It's literally only today that the shower is gonna be, like, strained. <laughs> because of the whole water situation. Can you please clean this goddamn stuff up? Why is... Oh my god. He dislikes video games. No, he already likes them. He's just bad at them. <laughs> Listen, if Michael in real life can put up with being shit at video games, Michael in The Sims can put up with it. I apologise. <laughs> but it's true. What is that? That looks awful. Orange juice. Good grief. Put it in the goddamn bin. Stop shimmying on the wall. Oh, dear. Well... I think we should leave it there for this episode. I don't know if next episode will still be here. I'll I'll sort of decide um, as we go along. Um, but hopefully these guys get more promotions pretty soon. They are soaring through the ranks of their careers. Um, but that's what I'm going to keep doing is keep on working on getting them through their careers. Um, and yeah, hopefully we can get them some more money, expand the house. That's like the goals for this place is to expand it, make it bigger, make the rooms bigger. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun, sort of like building up a, a mansion from the ground up. So I'm very excited for it. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Feel free to leave a thumbs up if you did. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Michael's very upset with Jake. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.